Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. Yep. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Cardi here. Today, we're going to be talking about Invisalign. Yeah, man. So, uh, your boy got them trays, man. I don't know if you guys can see them, but basically, yeah, I got them things, them, you know, them, them, them yeah, yeah, them things. So, to make a long story even longer, uh, I've made a video um, asking you guys if I should get braces, and a lot of people in the comments was letting me know, like, hey, if you're over 30, my man, you don't need all that metal in your mouth. Go ahead and get you some clear braces. And that's what I did. So, probably the beginning of January is when I first got my Invisalign. Now, crazy thing, I also mentioned in that video that the orthodontist was gonna let me know if I had to get my tooth pulled or not. And surely he did. He called me probably a week before my procedure and he told me, hey my man, you're gonna have to go ahead and pull a tooth. And I'm just like, like, I don't wanna, why? Like, come on, make it work. Come on, I know, you, you've been doing this for how many years? 30 years. I know you can make this work for me, but to no avail. So I had to get my tooth pulled and I'll actually point to the tooth that is actually pulled. It is this one. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to show you guys a video right now of me getting my tooth pulled. Um, also, um, I'm in a group text with Chase Money, UTX, Wiza, Regular Dave, Ricky, and Chase, as soon as I was like, yo, they told me I gotta pull my tooth, Chase immediately texted Chad like, yo, my man, get that tooth about the paint. <laughs> So with me with that being said, let's go ahead and roll the video, man. Is that hurt at all? Mm -mm. Feel the pain. So I didn't pay too bad. Need to tap your top tooth. So even though that took me a long time today, it came out perfectly clean. Okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait down for me. Are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so maybe I can give you guys a little bit of uh, insight of how it is with being a full adult family. You know, and being a gamer and being somebody that is constantly on camera day in and day out, as well as hosting events where I have to talk in public. And as soon as I say talk, it sounds so weird. Um, when I'm talking with Invisalign, I have to sometimes... <laughs> Why is it doing this to me now? I have to sometimes slow down my uh, speech to kind of catch my Invisalign a little bit, if you know what that means. So sometimes I will talk without my tongue and sometimes I will. And some people catch it, they'll be like, yo, my man, you got, you got a crazy list going on. But half the time, if I'm just trying to make it like a blunt statement, you can't hear it as much. But um, as far as putting them in, the first two weeks were mind-blowing as anyone could probably imagine every time i eat i have to take them out every time i drink anything but water i have to take them out so let's just say within the first i would say week and a half i probably lost like six pounds and the only reason that is is because with invisalign you are now restricted to your three meals a day, maybe a snack or whatever the case may be, but maybe your snack might come within a half an hour of when you actually eat like breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So around lunchtime, I'll have lunch and then I'll probably have like some fruit or something like that and then gobble down like two bottles of water because I know that the next time I eat, I gotta take these trays out. Week one was one of those weeks where it was like, I didn't wanna do it. 
I'm a grown man and I felt like nobody's gonna push me around and I'm gonna do what I wanna do. But within that 24 hours, that was out of my brain. I was brushing my trays uh, three times a day. I was brushing my teeth three times a day. And it has literally been like this for the last two weeks. So the tray that you guys are looking at right now is my second tray. My first tray wasn't really too different from the, the mold of my mouth, but this second tray, my G, this second tray is beyond me. Every time I put it in, I can already feel like the tightness of the tray trying to pull my teeth a certain way. Now with this crowding that's going on down here, I am going through it. By the way, I have my first tray right here. Yeah, it's in this little plastic baggie. But this second tray, the little loose tooth I got, yeah, the one that got pulled, the one that's about the paint, they have a false one inside my tray, right? The false tooth in my second tray, when I take the tray out, the tooth stays in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, the, the little like opening in my gum that I have from not having a tooth there, the freaking fake tooth keeps getting caught. So when I take my tray out, I can literally make a smile with that false tooth. It's weird. It is pissing me off. And literally every time I take like my tray out the bottom, I have to like use my tongue to like kind of push the false tooth up into the tray every time I take the tray out. So just imagine that's three times a day for the next two weeks with this tray. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm also scared that for every tray that's coming in the future, is the false tooth that's in these trays going to keep doing that before my canine gets moved over or however the movement and stuff is going to go. It's, it's driving me up a wall. But basically, uh, since I do have my first tray here, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about with this false tooth thing. If your tray has like any residue or anything like that, you're doing everything completely wrong. This tray right here is two weeks old. This is a two week old tray and it still looks like the, the day one tray. But one thing you guys might notice is that little false tooth there. So just imagine this little false tooth here coming out of the tray every time you take it out the tray. That's been happening with the current tray in my mouth. And it's like I said, man, it's, it's, been, it's been crazy, man. When the orthodontist called me and left me a message saying, Mr. Carter, it's time to get that tooth about the paint. Okay, he didn't say it like that. He was like, hey, you know, to get the process started, you know, we're gonna have to get that tooth pulled. You know, you're gonna have to go to your regular dentist. He's gonna pull it for you. And you're gonna have to, you know, wait about three days and then we'll get you started on your Invisalign. And I'm just like, man, I gotta get my tooth pulled, man. I'm 30. I don't wanna get my teeth pulled, man. Not only did I have to get my tooth pulled in order to get Invisalign, but I'm also missing another tooth inside my mouth. So this is my top tray. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's literally like a line right there for my missing tooth because they're not sure if I'm gonna get an implant. So what I told them is, you know, just leave the space there. If I have to get an implant, you know, we'll worry about all that later. So, you know, I'm dealing with um, two issues, man. I'm dealing with a tooth having to be pulled and already having a tooth out of my mouth with the Invisalign, so it's just gonna take a little bit, I guess, longer for my teeth to uh, actually finish up. Um, a lot of people have been giving me, you know, help in forums and, you know, Reddit and stuff like that. I have a total of, I'm gonna show you guys, 39 trays, man. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but your boy has to wear 39 trays. I'm looking at like two years with Invisalign. It's, it's sounding crazy out here. Now think about it like this, right? One tray takes me two weeks, but there is an option to kind of speed up the process by getting a little device that creates vibration in your mouth to get your teeth moving more at night. And this item costs 500 more dollars than what I'm paying for my braces. And by the way, if you guys don't know how much my braces are going to cost, because this is the first video you're watching of me in this whole freaking Invisalign journey, my braces was like $6,200. If you don't know what that is, it's $6,200. I feel like a fool. But one thing I can say, 
once this process is done i've seen a lot of invisalign journeys i've seen updates and stuff like that of people you know from start to finish and i can say invisalign looks like it does the job now i've seen some people say that they got metal braces for like two or three months after getting invisalign just to do a couple uh fast quick straightening things as well as getting like teeth shaved and everything like that so i mean whatever has to be done with my teeth I'm definitely gonna do whatever it needs to be done. But uh, one big thing that I'm not looking forward to is the attachments. Um, every person that gets Invisalign has to get attachments. If you get Invisalign and you ain't gotta get no attachments, you don't need Invisalign. I'm just keeping it all the way a G. Now, one thing that uh, the orthodontist said to me is that I'm gonna have a shit ton of attachments. And my trays within the coming weeks after six weeks are going to be crazy. Now remember, this is my second week tray. I have to wear this until four weeks. Then I have to wear another tray until six weeks. And then I go back in for a reevaluation as well as getting my attachments put on. So I can say that it is a very long process without, uh, I think they call it like the V Pro 5 or Pro or something like that, that vibration device. I believe that I will spend the extra 500 for that device just because of the simple fact that I don't want to wear, be wearing these Invisaligns forever because <laughs> that's what it's going to feel like, man. I know two years doesn't sound that long. It's pretty long, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. With having Invisalign, you will up your oral hygiene as well as lose weight. Um, just because of the simple fact that I can't go into the cupboard and grab a honey bun and just down a honey bun real quick before I go to bed or something like that. It's a whole entire process to eating. So one thing I can say about Invisalign that it most likely will make me a little bit healthier with, of course, like food decisions and stuff like that, because I like to cook now, as well as um, if I do start this crazy workout train, I believe that my Invisalign is gonna, you know, put me into the right direction as far as weight, uh, health, everything, and oral hygiene. And who doesn't want good oral hygiene? I mean, spending $6,200 for it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about Invisalign, if you're somebody that just stumbled upon this video and you wanna know what it feels like to be an adult with Invisalign as well as any questions you may have, let me know in the comments, man, and I'll respond. As well as if you're just here for the foolery and you wanna make fun of me, it's okay, man, it's all right. But I promise you, if I bite you, you are gonna bleed the same. Even though I got these plastic Invisaligns and I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy, man. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and uh, share this with a friend who got messed up teeth, like me. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.